Welcome to the shit show. Artie's got a belly full of chicken milk already. That's how the show starts, dude. Artie's just, you know, what was in Artie's pockets today? Chicken milk. It turns out it was it was a pocket full of milk and chicken. And he ate it, and it was horrifying. Yeah, that's what happened. But um, Martin's here, physically here. I can throw things at him. Look. See? Don't throw your ID at me. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, Martin's physically here, so I can harass him. He's brought his wife with him. Bad choice. Bad choice. Uh, Art, Artie's here. Uh, Blake is not. Probably getting poo thrown on him. I, I, I don't know. But, um, speaking of Artie, he had an episode last week. <sighs> Jesus. Yeah, the episode of Jardy was interesting. I, I believe he showered himself in beer. He, uh, he did like a 45-minute uh, shotgun, which is the, probably one of the <laughs> longest shotguns that I've it ever seen, like shotgunning a beer. For 45 minutes? Might have taken most of the show somehow. I don't know. It was crazy. How big is the beer? It was, I believe it was a tall boy. It was a tall um, boy, right? It was a tall boy, but I had like a microscopic fucking like puncture in it. Yeah, he couldn't get the <laughs> puncture <laughs> right, so then he was basically just like sucking on it like it, like when you have a juice box without a straw, and he was yeah. just like... <laughs> it was it was crazy, but I think that made it way worse because I was just like it's like sucking alcohol through a straw. Yeah. It makes it it's it was crazy. So, uh, but by the end of it, he agreed to drink Jess's piss, and, <laughs> and <laughs> it was it was such a shit show. But that was the fucking the culmination of it all. I don't know what the fuck happened, Artie. Now that you're soberer, let's go with soberer. Ish. Is that so still a? Uh, is that still like happening? Like, are you like still like gung ho? Because not only did he say I would drink, it, oh yeah, I would totally drink Jess's piss. He was like, you wouldn't. Like he like came at me like I was some sort of <laughs> faggot for not wanting to drink someone's piss. I was like, I have been with my girlfriend for thirteen years. I've avoided her piss all, the whole time. I've, none of it's gotten in my mouth pretty much the entire time. And I was like, I would I? I was like, I guess I would. Like, there's you have a. To? Yeah, exactly. If there's there's a reason, I would, but not like I want to. If there was just a cup of piss, I'm not gonna sneak a sip. Like that's not <laughs> what I'm gonna do. I'm not like it, it's but, at the doctor's office. But Artie seemed to be like, hell yeah, dude, get that piss. Let's get that piss. And I was like, no, that's not gonna happen. And then Artie's like, yeah, he fucking got aggressive with me. He was just like, why you some <laughs> what, you fucking loser? You're not gonna drink piss? Why you fucking not gonna drink piss? And I was like, so you're being serious? And then I'm like, Jess. Send him some piss. And she was like, I'm on it. Oh. She leaves. She leaves. And like, it all started because she had to piss. This is where it all happened. And then Artie makes a joke like, use my mouth. And I was like, come on. Be serious. He was like, what? You wouldn't drink piss? And I was like, we go down a fucking 45 minute piss rabbit hole that ends with just shipping Artie piss. No. So piss is on the way to Artie's house in a mason jar. Just like a, like the fucking style that we do here. Just like fart farts jar. in a fart in a jar. Your first edition was fart in a jar. Now we got piss in a jar. And Works Artie's. Down. You think chicken milk was gross? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Several day old piss in a jar. <laughs> and then Artie's going to try. He's going to be a collector then. That's what I'm saying. We yelled at him. I'm like, Artie, you're going to sip piss, but you wouldn't drink an expired Mountain Dew. <laughs> Those things last forever. <laughs> yeah. They're like Twinkies. They don't go bad. Like, it's 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 crazy. And he's like, oh, yeah, well, I'll fucking drink it. And then he just drinks the Mountain Dew and goes, hey, it was fine. I was like, well, what the fuck, man? <laughs> he, like, built this up forever. And then he just, then he drank it. And he was like, that ah, was all right. I was like, okay. If you do the same thing after the piss, if you go, nah, it's could right. use some chicken milk. <laughs> and then mix it <laughs> and shake it up like you're a barista. Oh, that'd be the funniest thing. <laughs> <is> it? <laughs> oh, my God. It's all frothy at the top. And he's like, oh, that's much better. It's like a Guinness. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so, are yeah. you? Cheers to yeah. that. Guinness extra stout. <laughs> Piss. <laughs> it's, just, it's just bottled Jess piss. It's just dark. Hell yeah. That's going to be the, the label right there. So, Artie, now that you've got a clearer mind, it's been a couple of days. You've, you've had like five days or so to, to sit and think about it. How do you feel about the piss now? I'm still doing it. 
<laughs> is there some sort of shenanigans going on that you're like tricking me? Like, is it going to be apple juice? Jess seems, she mm. has convinced me. She's like, if we're doing it, we're doing it. Uh, she's like, I'm not putting apple juice in the fucking jar. I'm pissing in the yeah. jar and I'm sending him a jar. What he does on his end is up to him. <laughs> Just That's swap what, it out. And then I was like, you better call him out if there's something different. If you see the murkiness of your piss looking different. She put like, some sprinkles in there. Yeah, you'd be like, that's a Modelo. I can tell. I can <laughs> Wait tell. a minute. This is a hazy IPA. I've been had. <laughs> if Artie's pissed, he spits it out. He goes, <laughs> I'm pissed. This is an IPA. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> I, was promised, I was promised piss. Now I'm pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Fucking Artie! I can I can see why Artie says uh, or Jess says Artie's the best on the show. Really fucking crushes it. So, as far as I can tell, I don't think it's gonna make it there. As far as I can tell, by tomorrow, the piss because she sent it sometime earlier in the week. But I think it said it's like a state over now. Yeah, a couple states, I think. I think it's a couple states. They're shipping it (laughs) cross-country. Shipping piss cross-country takes a couple. Uh, But uh, I think because there's probably a lot of people shipping things for Thanksgiving weekend. On the hurricane ship. In the hurricane, yeah, that's that's happening. But uh, it's Canadian Thanksgiving, by the way. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, it's super exciting. But uh, is it like family day or something over there? No, no it's February. Fa- family day is in February for some reason, and nobody <laughs> goes to see their family because we're all snowed in. Like it's like <laughs> well, we're gonna go see our families. No, we're trying to survive this harsh winter. Family's been outsourced to India. <laughs> <laughs> I just get some guy named Gurpreet to call my mom. <laughs> hey, he's like, Hello, this is Ryan. It's so nice to see you, mom. <laughs> she answers back, yes, it's nice to see you, but we've just all outsourced our communication. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so uh, Artie's going to get pissed, and I think it said on Jess's end that it's going to get there on Tuesday. So that all means right. maybe we'll have a very special episode of Artie, uh, Jardy on a Tuesday, or save it'll be it for Saturday. Or, to, or it'll we'll be. Save it. I don't I'll know. save it for this can't, we can't, day. No, we can't steal their right. bit. This is the Jardy original. I don't want to steal. I don't want to steal their bit. Yeah. This is the Jardy show exclusive. Okay, half and half. Well, if you can save the leftovers <laughs> for CNP, if you wanted to finish it, like on on, on Clever Name Podcast, <laughs> absolutely. I'm not going to say no. Keep if you just it want, in increments like the part jar. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Like every once in a while, crack it open, test, uh, taste it. Maybe it's fermented. Maybe it's alcoholic. It actually might be. The amount of white claw that that fucking lady (laughs) does. The piss coming out of here is is straight whiskey and white claw. So, like, you're going to get fucked up. So, uh, I don't know, Artie, uh, if if it does show up tomorrow, then the episode of Jardy tomorrow is going to be crazy. It's going to be nuts. It's going to be piss. But... Uh, if not, then a week later, in the next episode, maybe the final episode of Charlie. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he's gonna he's gonna fall out of love with Jess because of the piss. <laughs> like, oh, I thought your piss would taste so much better. Oh, it tastes like piss. It's like, Lou. I thought, <laughs> I thought when you loved someone, their piss tastes like cotton candy. That's how I tell. <laughs> I always and everyone. This is why I haven't found my soulmate because everyone's piss tastes like piss. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'm very excited. Jess uh, has shipped out this in a bottle. She put a what? freezer pack in it. <laughs> freezer pack. She packed freezer. Her, She packed her piss like she was packing a school lunch. <laughs> <laughs> like she was like <laughs> packing the frosty. It. Yeah, there's like gushers in there. There's like, she's you know got a snack for panties? later. What panties party? I believe there's panties. No. I don't know if that was a spoiler or not. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% oh, yeah. sure. But from the picture I saw, there looked like there was panties in there. There could be a surprise. It might be like a whole, like uh, when you buy those mystery boxes off of Amazon or something. <laughs> yeah. like, I, love, I, do, I love making those. Yeah, it's like a, a bis- <laughs> it's like a broken mouse, like a, an, an old GPU, some panties. Fuck it. It's just. Or are you fine? Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> Artie's like, hell yeah. <laughs> Yes. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Dude, just. I'm like a vampire, dude. That gives me like it makes me like ten years younger. Dude, just sipping, sipping, piss, huffing panties. Artie's gonna be in heaven. Oh, this yeah. like, You remember when? You remember when uh, Dave sent us the box? 
of stuff and how excited we were. Yeah. We were like, they got the sticker that that was there. The, <laughs> the, the mouse. Yeah, the, shirt. the yeah, the, the the mouse, the shirt, this fat stripper lady for Blake that he didn't seem to want for some reason. I don't get it. But uh <laughs> there's there was so much stuff in there. Already got a fish, remember that? You got a fish. Oh god. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he was so upset. That was <laughs> that was just out, so out of left field, dude. He but was, on brand. So Watching him hold the fish. Like, it's a fucking uh, fish. <laughs> that was so you funny. Me to throw it against the wall and then have it explode. Everybody who doesn't listen to this show is gay because all the stuff that we do is it. May, it might take a while to get there. We're a slow off. burn. We do, but it tell, pays off. They, it all pays off in the end. Artie's gonna drink piss, <laughs> dude. On Jordy, though. I do, yeah. Well, well, you best believe the episode <laughs> after. I'm going to be watching the clip over and over again, playing the fucking 2001 A Space Odyssey music. That's exactly <laughs> what's going to happen. So, uh, I guess he's still in. You see, Are you of sound mind, Artie? Can you consent to this? Are we, we're not yes, forcing dude. you to drink piss here, right? <laughs> I, dude, I fully consent. I'm fucking down for this. <laughs> he couldn't even take me this to a court of law saying that I'm forcing him because of the excitement and then the fucking anger that he had with me when I said I didn't want to drink piss. It was like you couldn't fake that. <laughs> he's not that good of an actor. So, like, he's just, he, he literally was just like, fuck you. You don't want to drink piss? What, are you some sort of queer? Dude, that's so gay. He said, I'll gargle with it. And I went, <laughs> I was like, no, don't. I can't. <laughs> No, like, no. If he if he spits it like Triple H, he was like, that would just. I would lose my fucking mind. <laughs> I don't know. I don't yeah. know what's gonna happen. Tune into Jardy. The only place to get it. Oh, yeah. Clevernamepodcast.com. Go check out Jardy because. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen every week. The first episode was crazy. The second one led us to this. So, <laughs> and towards the finale. <laughs> who knows what's going to happen? It could be just a very short series that ends in whatever whatever salmonella you get from piss. I don't know. There's Chicken milk. Dysteria. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Something you could get. Dysentery. Sure. You definitely. <laughs> yeah, dysteria is definitely not dysteria. a word. Dysteria. <laughs> Probably yeah. is. Though. It's the thing that he's, it's the new <laughs> thing that he just got. <laughs> it's like it's Lysteria. Just, and just, 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 yeah, yeah, I've, I've combined like three there's, words. There's a, there's a sickness called list, uh, listeria, listeria or Listeria. Listeria. Where it's like you eat bad meat. Yeah. But I, I thought it was Listomania, the fucking Phoenix song. <laughs> I don't know, Listomania. I, I just, yeah. I just heard Megalomania in my head. <laughs> and, and Megalomania is just good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, here we go. So, Do uh, somebody uh, showed me this video and said, this is Dodds. And so then I took it upon myself to edit it a little bit, put Dodds actually in it. So, uh, nice. here we go. <laughs> I'm very sorry for what we're about to is watch. Is he in the woods? Uh, no, it's not in the woods. It's um, it's a guy in a bathtub. Nice. Yeah. And uh, he, he, he very free willy esque uh, <laughs> uh, that, that, that they're doing here. And... Um, Made me cringe. Made me... I, I didn't know what was going on. And maybe you'll know what's going on, but that would make you a better person than me. Yeah. So here you go. <laughs> Wait for it. No. Wait for it. Is that a Nerf football? No. It's an oh, orca. It's orca. It's Holy an shit. Orca. That's... Whoa. <laughs> Oh my god. I love the Super Mario 64 soundtrack too. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. <fuck. laughs> so Jesus Christ, dude. That's the joy of uh like when Artie draws something for you. This is how we should reveal all Artie's drawings. It should be buried inside of gay man's ass. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. I forgot to turn that off. Yo. So, so, yo. God, I knew I was going to do that, too. I even oh, thought God. it, and I was like, don't do that, and then did it. But, yeah. I saw that. Somebody was just like, yeah, this is is this dogs in the <laughs> bathtub? And I was like, I think so. I think that's dogs. That makes sense. Has, 
has a little dick. You know, Dodds always says he's got a little dick. That's what he says, so little dick and an orca in his ass, that's Dodds. And what we've always said about it. God damn it. <laughs> I hope he sees that. <laughs> <laughs> Send that to him. Uh, yeah. I did find his dream girl, though, and I'm disappointed that he's not here this week to see it. I found, I found Dodds' future wife. She's... All these man on the street interviews have been blowing up lately. You know the Hawk Tua girl. Yeah, they're all doing that. This is uh, this is the one for the boys. You know, not not Hawk Tua girl was was a little little girly. This one is Dodds's future wife. You can't bang a guy more than six inches. No, my shit too tight and too little. Like I can't do it. So you like little dicks? Yes. Are you lying though? No, I'm not lying. So if he has a four inch, you'll do it. Yeah. Three inches. Yeah. No, that's a Four. lie. No, it's not. Four. No, what's the minimum for the small? Two. Okay, now. Not everybody's the same down there. Like, my shit little, my shit not deep, my shit tight, my shit small. Like, no. I don't, like, that anaconda dinosaur, extra big, like, that's not for me. So the guys that have little dicks, they have a chance with this. Yes. Give a little spin again. Come on, now. Oh. Oh, shit. My man. So if you have a little dick, she will want you. Yes. Dodds? Dodds? <laughs> come on, dude. She's, you're in. You're, you've already met the criteria. <laughs> Dodds is four inches. That's what he's always yeah. said. Four inch slanger. That's who he is. <laughs> hey, do you like doing anal? <laughs> Get out of here. Yes or no? It gotta be smaller than six. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Lady rules. <laughs> So that means she's turning down people in the opposite direction. Yeah. Like seven. Get out of here. Like, absolutely not. I can't. I can't. Dude, get your small dick friend over here. <laughs> oh. Hilarious, dude. Well, saying there's there's a person out there for everyone, and that does seem like Dodds' perfect type there. Yeah. Send it Dodds' way. He can make make it happen. So yeah, um, pretty excited about it. Yeah. Pretty pretty excited. Um. Did you, did you, uh, I know that we're all super interested, and you guys are fucking haters. You guys have all been hating on Lizzo hater. for a long time. Yeah. You guys are all shitting on Lizzo, and I don't know if you've seen what the fuck's going on. I don't think I've ever made a single joke about Lizzo. What? <laughs> yeah, that's true. But I, I have seen, uh, I've seen a goddamn transformation with Lizzo. I don't know. So she went from being the I'm so fat and I don't give a fuck girl to I'm I'm fat and I should probably do something about it. And then she started working out. And I'm like, she is almost to the point where she looks human. Almost. Almost. <laughs> almost. Like, she is, I can almost. see it there. Like, you can, like, see the structure of a human skeleton there. And you're like, oh, my God. And, like, to the point where I'm going to go out on a limb and go, wood. No more lizard uh-huh. You guys see for yourself. Lizzo did a bikini shot. There's no oh, Photoshop. Yeah. AI. You're telling me everything's all messed up. Everything's all me- like everything's all out of out of sorts. But I'm like, sh- whatever. They, I if this was just Lizzo from the get go, and she was just like, yeah, whatever. This is my button. I would <laughs> it, it wouldn't even have a problem with it. Nobody would no. care. It was that she was like so big that she was breaking screens that she was walking on on the orbits. floor. Yeah, she exactly. That, and then she was going, yeah, I don't care. I'm fat and beautiful. I'm a hundred percent that bitch. <laughs> and then and then when and then she got everybody fat. She made everybody fat. All of your fucking girls that listen to Lizzo, they're like, oh, yeah, I don't care. I'll fucking order Popeyes, listen to Lizzo. I don't give a shit. And then they all got fat. And then Lizzo fucking pulled the fucking <laughs> rope up behind her, started shooting Ozempic or whatever Hell she's yeah. doing. And then now she's getting skinny. And all those other fat bitches listening to Lizzo are still like, wait, what happened? Wait, <laughs> I'm a, you left me over here. It's kind of like all those people who... um. Who like got famous like saying slurs and being edgy mm-hmm. back in the day, and then they're like, "Oh no, you can't do that anymore," and stuff. And they pulled the rope up behind her. She made everybody fat, and then started getting <laughs> skinny, and that's not cool. I don't appreciate that that you do that either. Stay fat and slobby, and like you go out in like stained sweat suits when you go out on like yeah. like yeah, you have to take like breathers to eat in the middle of your show. That's it. Should be part show, part mukbang. 
That's kind of what <laughs> that's kind of yeah. what I would expect out of a Lizzo show. She's just got like a macaroni bar on the side of the stage. And she's like, I'm a hundred for that bitch. <laughs> and that and that's okay. That's like art. It's like Nikocado Avocado, that big fat guy. Yeah. It's the exact yeah. same thing. Perfectly fine with that. But then if you do she's, that she's a Nikocado avocado. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to hate it. I really did, but it landed. It landed. It was, it was, it was a choppy flight, but then it, it landed. But no, that ruled. Um, but dude, she's fucking almost. Yeah, she can get it. Artie would drink she's her like piss. A, she's like a. It would Sorry. definitely taste like ice cream. It's carbonated. <laughs> <laughs> like really fucking. She's going in the right direction. Is what I'm saying. To be yeah. that arrogant and be like, yo, I'm super hot. She's and then, always arrogant, though. Yeah, I know, but not be go you're going in the wrong direction. You're going in the 600-pound life direction yeah. instead of, like, the, the better direction. And then to have that confidence is crazy. To be like, yeah, I'm a fucking, I'm the hottest chick out here. I'm fucking it. And then still be gaining and almost tipping the scale at, like, 600 or something. That's crazy. But then to be going in the right direction, be like, yeah, I'm fucking hot. I'm fucking, that's better. And now I'm, I'm on Lizzo team. I'm on team Lizzo. I'm on Team Lizzo. You guys gonna last though? I don't know. It'd be fun. Yeah, <laughs> I'm rooting for. Her. I appreciate. Nah, but, I don't want to root for. Her. I oh, want do, Lizzo jokes. Do you know what? Do you know what I've realized out of all of this is that nobody actually cares if you if you're fat. People care about effort. That's all. It, that's all it comes down to. If you're putting in effort and you're still fat, you're like, ah, that's just what it is. You're like, yo, they go to the. It's already already puts in effort. <laughs> puts in effort. Still fat. <laughs> <laughs> So that's why we don't yeah, care. We don't really make fun. Yeah, Jack in the Box. If, yeah, that's true. He did probably just down fucking pounds of Jack in the Box. But <laughs> uh, it's it's like, yeah, it turns out if you just say, like, oh, I'm a fat piece of shit and I don't care, that's when you get to be made fun of because mm. you're a fat piece of shit and you don't care, so it shouldn't matter. But when you're trying, people are less likely to be like, you're a fat piece of shit because you're going in the right direction. Yeah. You're not trying to die. And if I was Lizzo and I made millions and millions of dollars singing about how I was a fat piece of shit, I would just be like, all right, well, now I just need to live. It's like, <laughs> gotta but, enjoy my millions. If, how many, <laughs> I think about this too because I'm very tall, is like, how many 300 pound. 80 year olds do you see none because they all died at 50 yeah. that's why yeah. because you don't you can't yeah. you can't live that long it's the same sort of thing when i think how many six foot four 80 year olds do you see none no they shrink though i don't think so i think they all just died i don't <laughs> like there's something about that bigger animals uh die sooner mm -hmm. that's always the case it happens with Ant yeah. dogs it happens it's with heart disease yeah exactly so That's if true. you're just i'm not fat i'm just tall so i'm like i'm wondering if that balances out to like medium but like <laughs> uh but like if if you're bigger when was the last time you saw like a six foot five like where's shaquille o'neal in his 90s where's that where is Yao Ming at 85 mm -hmm. the, the only one that i've ever seen is kareem abdul jabbar and he looks like a nightmare I don't know if you've ever seen Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He's seven feet tall, and he's, Is like, he? 79. He's And he looks horrifying. Like yeah, one more year to go. It, I know. Like, if he makes it to in his <laughs> 80s. But Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is... Um, is He was an old basketball player, and he stayed playing for a long time. And then now he looks like... Uh, like if you took Uncle Ben and stretched him out, like, real far, like the rice guy. <laughs> like, but... Uh, but I don't know how old he is. He might actually just be like fifty. <laughs> That's the problem. But he looks like like this, and he's seven feet tall, and he looks kind of horrifying. He looks like a penis, kind of. But <laughs> it doesn't look like he looks decrepit. Oh yeah. And now I might realize that this might just be like a. 56 year old man and 48 that, that's what happens with uh that's just what happens when you when you're seven feet tall he's 77 Dang. that's pretty good though yeah and he's seven feet tall stuff so, but you don't see a lot of this that's no. the point is when you see kareem walking around you're like oh that's abnormal it's like they all die so i'm like i've got a few years left that's just, I actually well, have that's why actually have a few have, months yeah, left. Yeah, we have two, <laughs> and then we're all killing ourselves. <laughs> that, oh man, it's exciting. But yeah, so I'm I'm it's, assuming it's... the best thing if you're not tall, the best thing to be is thin because then you're small and you'll live longer. Yeah, that's just the thing. You're you just want to you want to not be fat. If you're short, you can't be fat. That's the key. Sorry, Artie. 
<laughs> I've I've uh, come to terms with my genetics. <laughs> the fucking last week when we figured out that that lady was wider than Artie is tall, <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> that lady was longer okay. around <laughs> than Artie was up. That's insane. <laughs> How do you even get to that level? <laughs> anyway. Disney. Do you remember last week? I believe it was last week. I, I posted on Instagram a video of us watching that Indian metal group or the that where we were yeah. reading off all of the clips. <laughs> Red like, Dot Chili Peppers. Red Dot Chili Peppers. <laughs> yeah, like all, all of the hilarious yeah. Indian ones. We got flooded with more. It, apparently, if you just post making fun of Indians on the internet, yeah. They love it. Indi- the internet loves making fun of Indians. Yep. Even other Indians. The, the better Indians make fun of the lesser Indians. It's hilarious. <laughs> but um, so, they, we po- on ours, it was just kept going. Like it was, really? I was like, I was, it was hilarious. So I was like, I thought there was none left. There's always more. You can always come up with more. You thought Stinkin' Park was the best it could get? No, there's always more. T- Panic at the airport. They were all hilarious. <laughs> but um, it led me down a rabbit hole to find a, a, a pudgy Indian rapper kid. And hilarious, first of all. Listening to the rap is already hilarious. But then the comment section in that <laughs> did the same fucking thing. And I got so excited to read them. And then I was like, oh, man, you guys are going to love this. Fucking, this, first of all, this kid spits. A little Roadie? A little, little Roadie. That's... We're already... Everybody's <laughs> brain's already working. We're like, we need Indian words and rappers. <laughs> 50 rupees <laughs> like we're, <laughs> yeah we're oh no we'll come up with more but so this kid um yeah, that's a little roadie <laughs> <laughs> little roadie but he's rapping about all the diarrhea he gets in indian food he's rapping how to scam people Biggie smells. <laughs> Machine gun <laughs> smelly. <laughs> Stench Montana. <laughs> he made it out the call center with this. <laughs> Somebody did the same joke. He made it out of the cell phone kiosk with this. Uh, NWA not wearing antiperspirant. Uh... <laughs> That's Deo- great. This is a deodorant diss track. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, they did stink and park again. You can't just Boo. do that. Boo. Yeah. Machine gun da- deli. <laughs> uh, sing what, what, shady. What about Link? Dude, sing shady. Tech support nine. Dude, these rule. That's, that's Three good. seeks mafia. <laughs> I will I scam. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, nothing but a G thing, but spelled with an H. Kendrick Kumar. <laughs> Tupakistan? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Tupakistan. <laughs> oh, ASAP Rody. Dude, they stole yours. <laughs> you stole it from them, but still. I got Lil Rody. Yeah, the Lil Rody. <laughs> 21 turbans, <laughs> Biggie smells. 50 rupees. Shut the fuck you. up. Seek Ross, uh, Cardi B's brother, Cardamon B. Don't get it. Twice. T- is that Cardamon? Cardamon. Oh, yeah. Tupac Shakuri. <laughs> <laughs> they keep coming up. I can't believe how we're normalizing racism. Fuck this Fuck. gay watch. <laughs> Dude, all these people are super upset at that person. <laughs> racism will always be funny. Stop being so sensitive. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but telling you, you could you find any of these, you find an Indian doing anything on the internet, oh, yeah. the comment section will all just be parodies of of, the, of their <laughs> name. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> He's just spraying deodorant at him. <laughs> Hold on a second. I think I just get the feeling it was a little slow for me. I feel like if I bump that up by half a step, it's going to bang. I have a f- I just going out on a limb thinking this is going to slap. Okay. 
<laughs> Yo. New banger. <laughs> he just needs to rap God it up a little bit when he does that. So that, was, that kind of that kind of ruled. But yeah. Go find them. If you see them, send them to me. Anybody, if you see an Indian be an Indian on the internet, send it to me and I will check out the comment sections because they all rule. The internet is hilarious. I feel like it's like what we've done with society is we've we've blocked out so many racial groups that we're allowed to make fun of. We can't do black, can't yeah. do Jewish, can't do... There's so many that we have to do that we've laser focused <laughs> on the few that we're allowed to. Oh, yeah. And Indian and Asians are getting destroyed. Just fucking <laughs> absolutely destroyed on the internet. You cannot be Asian without being called Bruce Lee like 50 times on the internet because that's still allowed. You're still allowed to say things like that. But no, dude, God forbid we do this for any other. It's like all the comment sections on the internet used to be this. Yeah. That's what the comment sections just used to be. It's just, oh, what's the base level thing we can make fun of? Your race? Okay, now let's riff. <laughs> and then the comment section is just Biggie smells over and over again. <laughs> and that is perfect. And I think I appreciate that there's still pockets of the internet that allows that. Where Biggie smells can thrive. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah. So send me any any Indians being Indian on the internet. Um, speaking of Indians being in Indian on the internet, good luck with this one. Um, have you ever seen the Indian um, um, virality ritual? The what? So it's like to keep you uh, your your dick potent. It's like how Indians wanted. To, how how do you think they got to a billion population? Is they keep that dick game strong? They got to They keep they keep being virile. They they're they're they fuck cows. Nope, they don't fuck. Well, they probably do, but that's not part of it. That's separate. But uh, no, I believe I've seen this before on the internet, but I don't think I've actually seen a video of it. So um, this guy, you got to let him cook. You got to let him cook. Oh, you got let him cook. So he's got a stick. And uh, they're at like an Indian festival that probably smells great. You know when you go to a fairground in North America and it smells like funnel cake? And like, yeah. and fun. <laughs> and fun. <laughs> it smells like shit and Indian dick. <laughs> and curry. <laughs> and curry. Yeah. But, okay, so he's got his stick and his dick. And uh, what he's going to do is, first of all, actually, what's his buddy doing back here? He can't be doing white body. That's not allowed. <laughs> what's happening there? Yeah, that's, dude, that's, he's appropriating our culture. Look, he's got a little dick and he's white. That's, that's us. That's what we do here. But, so, what he's doing is he's taking his dick and he's wrapping it around a Donatello staff. Like, like he's a Ninja Turtle. And now, the Three Stooges-esque, they're kicking the cow shit away. So, there's a little more to it. There's more to it. This doesn't just stop there, obviously. Buddy is going to attempt climb onto the stick and by attempt I mean hilariously comically fail over and over and over again just pulling on this guy's penis <laughs> no it's it's keep the dick game strong that's what it is. It's to keep you virile. It's to keep it's it's like if you're not making babies enough, you go down to the dick stretching guy, you get a guy in white body to, to stand on your dick. You're struggling. So they have to call in they have to call in a ringer. Call, oh, the so even whiter guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They have to call in the white man to do it. I see. Still struggling. Why does he have to be naked? I'm asking for a friend. Does he have to push his dick? Yeah. Hold on. Jesus Hold on. Hold on. No hands. Double no hands. They're doing like the Vishnu pose and shit. Yeah, yeah. Right? This is just what Vishnu was. <laughs> Somebody tripping was like, is that a Vishnu? How's that working? It's mostly thighs. <laughs> Oh. He's got it rested on his thighs. This guy's leaning forward a little bit. It's like acrobatics a little bit, but <laughs> it's the Indian Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> it's yeah. really it's like, terrible. <laughs> this is what, yeah, when you're out eat, pray, loving in there, you can go see a Cirque du so smelly. <laughs> <laughs> that was stupid. Yep. They're just laser cousins. But it is. It's, it's very yeah. smelly. It's like, 
Oh man, I'm. I can only imagine how much the clothes are keeping the stink in, and like you let that shit breathe. Oh. Oh, man, it's what you smell when you get off the airport. They must be doing one of those dick rolling festivals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, will you try that? I don't want to say no because I would. I would do it. Really? I feel like I've done that. Like I haven't. I haven't like done it with a stick and a buddy. But like <laughs> I've definitely done it with like my finger. I've tried to like twirl. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah like you're like you like you're like a like a third gra- grader twisting bubble gum out of your mouth. Like I've done the same thing. Mash yeah, it all up. Food We've food all food. done. We've all had to have, when we were a kid in the bathtub, taken your balls and stretched it over your dick and kind of turned it into, like, a makeshift pussy. Yeah, we've all done that. Now, this is just X Games for that. <laughs> have you ever gone to the Olympics for dick stretching? Because, <laughs> <You're in India. laughs> dude, yeah, when they do when they do fucking uh, the Olympics Bangladesh, it's going to be crazy. <laughs> Next one. 2025 is going to be in Toronto. Yeah. When they Make added... Sure those gym that's away from those buses, dude. <laughs> when they... Dude, bus rape is an Olympic event. Are you kidding me? Yeah, <laughs> it's just going to be filled with uh, women in burkas. Some are men. You have to figure out which one to rape in the shortest time. You go on there. It's just... It's... <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I would do it. I want to go out on a limb and say do it. Would you stand on my back and would you stand on my my twisted dick? Do I have to do a white body or is it like black body? Uh, hmm. To be appropriate, <laughs> I would say you I mean, keep... uh, Martin Maxing, dude. Yeah, no, I would stick with white body. I would stick white That's body. Good, more white? No, yeah, powder yourself down. You want to get you want to like porcelain. Kind of like in the Olympics when they're doing weightlifting, you got to chalk up your body. Right. That's what you got to do. You got to get body, yeah. kind of pat yourself down like you're LeBron. You're fucking. Like really, right, I can do that. Yeah, already will be on the corner spraying piss like triple triple A's. Just, <laughs> it's like it's like a whole show. Oh, yeah. It's like a freak show where it's like there's so many things going on all at once. Cirque du CNP. <laughs> Cirque du CNP. <laughs> it's a Sikh show. Sikh show. Hey, Dad. Yeah, I would do it, but I feel like you're not standing on my dick. You're just standing on my thighs. My dick's just twisted in the Yeah, but if thing. it slips off. Oh, thighs, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to get off. an extra foot on my dick. <laughs> <laughs> It'll pull it out from the inside. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Actually, I do a fatality on them. <laughs> yeah, I would I would get Chris. I would try to get my lightest friend to stand on my back. Like I don't know. Blake's been bulking <laughs> up. He doesn't stop eating that fat fuck, man. I'm telling you, he's yeah, chi- crystal. If he's him and Lizzo are gonna pass in the night, like they're gonna fuck it. Yeah, all of a sudden it's gonna be Blake jokes instead of Lizzo's oh. jokes. Yeah, because I'm telling you, Lizzo's gonna be thin, brave, and beautiful, and Blake's gonna be a fat piece of shit. Because like the sec, I'm telling you, he tears his ACL or something like that, and he won't be able to stop eating the way that he eats. He's exercising like a motherfucker, so he's just bulking up. But what's gonna happen is he's gonna blow out his, uh, like his knee or something like that. He's gonna be on bed rest, and then he's gonna be a big, huge, fat person. And it's going to be hilarious, and I'm going to predict it. It's on record that I think Blake's going to be a big, fa- big, huge fat person. So get ready. Get ready for that. Be buff. Yeah. Um, so I guess, uh, um, uh, did you see what Elon did yesterday? He did his big, um, I don't know what it was. It was fucking like uh, E3 for Tesla is what I'm going to describe. You did E3? It. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did T3. Fuck off. He did T3. So... Uh, he was showing off all the shit. He showed the self-driving taxi. I thought, I thought they already had that. Well, it's it's like out. It's being really. He did the self-driving bus thing that's out there, and then the big release thing was the robots. So he made robots, iRobot style. Hell yeah! Full on iRobot robots, and he did like a press release for them and like a commercial for Are it. They bulletproof. Straight out of like the future, like. Like, this is like a Rick and Morty sketch. Mm. I don't believe that this is real, but this is what's being presented to the people. Arms and legs instead of a robot yeah. with, with wheels. And uh, we've made a lot of progress with uh, Optimus. Optimus. And uh, as you can see, we... <laughs> yes, we his name is Optimus. Someone, um, in a robot suit. Uh, sort of dead. And then we've progressed tr- dramatically year after year. So if you extrapolate you this, you're really going to have something spectacular, something that anyone could own. Um, so you can have robot. your own yes. personal yeah. R2-D2 C-3PO. Um, but fundamentally, at scale, 
the Optimus robot, you should be able to, to buy an Optimus robot for, I think, probably twenty to thirty thousand dollars long term. So, and 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 what can so it do for the price of like a mid-sized sedan? Yeah. You can own a robot that's gonna jerk you off. That's what's gonna. That's what it's for. Or no, 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 no. You say all that, all the stuff. Just, un- just understand that the end result will be you have a hand job robot. That's what it's for. For twenty grand. Yeah, for twenty grand hand job robot, and the, you uh, got to hold- come with upgrades. I don't know. You'd, at first, I'm assuming you're gonna have to put an oven mitt on its hand to like make sure it doesn't scratch you, because I, I'm assuming it's not gonna be made. If they're smart, they would just put flashlights in the hands. That's what I would just, that, or just have a fuckable pussy, because the quickness in which. You're go- like, I'm telling you, you're going to have it in your house for a week before you're fucking it. Like, without a doubt, you're going to get it. Be like, all right, Optimus, come jerk me off. <laughs> Optimus. Uh, hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. <laughs> hey, Siri, get uh, Alexa. Make Optimus jerk me off. <laughs> and I'm telling you that, like, it's at first you're going to be like, oh, man, it's fucking, it's picking up after me. It's getting my Amazon packages, watering my plants. And then you're like, all right, but, like. Can it, can it, Elon, Elon can, it, can, it, can it jerk me off? What happens if I just ask it to jerk me off? What's going to happen? It just, it's going to, it's going it to rip it off. Oh yeah. It's going to be like the crates or smoke coming. Still from in your beta. Dick. It's going to be all twisted between your fingers. Like you're doing an Indian ritual. Yeah. It's going to be like, oh no. Oh, it's all. He's standing on your back. Like, like, no, dude, this is not what I want. It's a big Clover Day podcast fan. That's the thing. It's watched every episode. Do it can it'll be able to do anything you want. So it can um, be a teacher. Of- it can do anything you want. I know. Like he had to say that. He doesn't say that you can fuck it, but he's like, it can do anything you want. Wink. Here are the waifu models. <laughs> Big sellers. Without a doubt, there's like the next model will have titties. They might be like you remember how we have uh, progressed in titties in the video game world. So I'm assuming the first model of titty on the... Yeah, it's going to be... Yeah, we're going to get Tomb Raider titties. Oh, yeah. That's what you're getting. And man. for Martin, that might bring back some nostalgia from Kim Possible. That's going to be great. He's going to be like, oh, man. I'm I like Chigo. <laughs> oh, she did have round titties. <laughs> Somehow, in the Kim Possible universe, the one with round titties was the evil one. I get it. So, But, but I'm telling you... The quickness that you can turn one of these robots into a Shigo is very, you put a black wig on it, you spray paint it green, and Wally. then you just you, t- <laughs> you tell it to say some voice lines from Kim Possible, and you can definitely call and beep this robot. <laughs> that was so stupid. Babysit your kids, it can walk your dog. No! Don't let the robot babysit your kids, it's gonna jerk them off. <laughs> oh, God. Dude, that's so crazy. You gotta set the Diddy mode. Dude, that's so. It's like, it's like um, like uh, the uh, the Oculus. It's like having the Oculus. It's like if you use your Oculus for jerking off, you also shouldn't let your kid play with it. So it's like if you're watching virtual reality porn on the on the in virtual reality, you shouldn't then give that to your kid to play Minecraft on. Mm. So your fuck robot should not watch your kids. As much as you do that with your wives and girlfriends, <laughs> that's different. That's a humanoid fuck robot, and those are allowed to watch kids. These ones aren't aren't at that level yet. Mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks. <laughs> be your um, friend. Hell yeah. Remember when we we bought, got friends. Remember Blake bought? Blake bought? We can have we can have eleven listeners. We can force it to listen. It cannot leave. <laughs> it's kill itself, man. <laughs> Can't dig it anymore. <laughs> Let me die. Don't Let me die. Thirty-two. Oh my God. <laughs> chicken milk. Chicken milk. Chicken milk. <laughs> it just fucking. Whatever you can think of, it will do. Whatever you can think of, it will do. It it, dream it, do it. Just, just like that lady who wants small dicks. So does this robot. <laughs> Anything. And yeah, it's gonna be awesome. And I, I, I think this will be the biggest product ever of any kind. Yeah. So autistic. I because know. I'm I convinced he's evil. Like I'm convinced he has to be evil. Like everybody, la- like they look at like 
Jeff Bezos and stuff like that, and he looks like he's evil. I think he's just a guy who was selling books out of his garage and somehow made it big, and now he's just he's a weirdo who's a millionaire, yeah. and he has yachts and stuff, and that's it. Elon Musk, I think, is a genuine evil scientist. I don't understand where he came. I feel like he fucked people over at PayPal. Like, he was, like, he was kind of, like, evil. And when you start going bald so early, and then you have a luscious head of hair at the end, I assumed you scalped a child or something. <laughs> like, the, I don't know what the fuck happened, because his hairline was like back here in 1995. And then all of a sudden in 2024, he has thicker hair than I do. Bought a new head. I think so. I don't know. He has AI. He has like AI chia pets built into his head. And like, you just got to sp- have that. Yeah, I know. Right. Like chia hair. <laughs> chia. That would, that would rule. Like at this point, you would think the space age technology that brought us chia in the nineties we should be able to fucking sprinkle that on your hair, and it just grows out of leaves. And if it comes out green, just dye it. Like whatever, you can have like a big Bob yeah, a Ross snack, fro. Too. Yeah, oh, chia is so delicious. Everybody loves chia. <laughs> but I would say if I'm gonna say if I went bald because I look like an AIDS patient, so like being bald would be a problem for me. But uh, <laughs> but. If I could grow a green Bob Ross afro, Yo. I would take that over bald, I think. I would just go like fucking yeah, dude. It's you fucking... look like a you go to Burning Man. Burning Man with a with a green Yeah. Why? That's the people that go there, man. I guess they look like freaks there yeah. too. I would fit in, <laughs> yeah. is what you're saying. But no. I think people would like I'd like it. I would look like a create a character in a video game. <laughs> <laughs> like he's six foot four with a green afro you're like yeah no this is definitely some weird dark souls mod that like you're like yeah. he's like a wacky inflatable tube man you're like yeah no i'm not i'm actually I, I don't want that but opposed to aids patient uh i think i would go with with chia hair and i'm like i feel like that's possible i feel like you could even just set down whatever the base level of chia is on your head like whatever's on the scalp of obama that you can buy to grow chia out of his head and chia's on your just head. put your chia Some on water. your head that happened so long ago it's the same sort of technology that we went to the moon fucking 50 years ago <laughs> How the fuck have we not done it? It's actually way more than that. It's actually like 70 years ago we went to the moon. How are we not back there? We made Chia 30 years ago. Really? How have we not? Yes. It was so long. It was a minimum early 2000s. That was. I thought it was 90s. It might be, but I'm saying it's 2024. So 30, 30 years ago, at least, yeah. we made Chia. And we haven't advanced that into hair growth technology at this point. That's, that's insane. Missed opportunity. That's crazy. I know. It, 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 chia hair? Dude, the, the Rogaine of Chia? I can see it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Did somebody change their name to Poonjabi? Poonjabi. With two O's. Uh, yeah, yeah. You got it, bro. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah. But futures now, dude. You can get a robot to jerk you off or something pretty soon. Like bot. Yeah. No, you can drive in your self-driving Tesla, Tesla in the <laughs> HOV lane with your robot giving you roadhead. And then who's having the Tesla? The, the Tesla. It's self-driving. I know, but the Tesla robot has to drive the Tesla. No, no, no. The Tesla's that's specifically there just for hand jobs and blowjobs. That's <laughs> what it's there for. It's the jerk bot. That's what it's there. And so he and, HOV lane. and you can go in the HOV lane. It's like you've solved so many problems here that you get you get to work faster with empty balls and you could maybe take a nap on the way there. You're like, you're refreshed. <laughs> it's crazy the world that we're gonna live in. So I'm pretty excited. For the future of getting a uh, a jerk off bot, so ten grand each. <laughs> yeah, dude. If we could split it and then we like share custody of it, that's gonna be a problem. We're all just getting jerked off by the same robot. It's only got two hands. <laughs> so like, we get multiple attachments. <laughs> already seems like a foot guy. Yeah. <laughs> seems, I thought that was me. Yeah, but you're no. You look like a foot guy. <laughs> that's what you know. Already seems like a foot guy. That's what you know. There's, there's difference. You look so like you'd be Artie's a feet. piss guy, though. Artie is also a piss guy. You More go, royal. I'm, you could be a piss foot guy. I'm telling you, I, that is there's, there's, guy. the Venn diagram of piss feet guys is basically a circle. Like it's, it's all. <laughs> most people that are into piss wouldn't turn down a good foot. Artie, you a foot guy? Uh, I would say so. <laughs> I know him. I know. I know me some Artie. I know. Didn't know that he would drink piss, but now that I do, 
know that he wouldn't turn so much. <laughs> it, 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 like, yeah, that just like opened up a whole world to Artie for me. Where I was like, yeah. Um, so, you want me to do yes. a little test here? Yes. Um, remember, I think it was last week or maybe the week before. Um, it was I thought it was iOS that had the voice, the Siri voice mod oh, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't. No. Oh. It was ChatGPT. Oh no. ChatGPT has the voice mod thing on your phone. And it's like an app? Yeah, it's a Ch- ChatGPT app. Oh. And I didn't realize it was for that. They have the voice mod mode, so I wanted to test it to see if it does the thing where you what can What was it doing again? It was speaking patois. Oh yeah. So you got like you set it to like a white lady voice and then you ask it to speak Jamaican. Yeah. And then it sounds like a, it sounds like Chet Hayes, where it's like, <laughs> oh, Bumba Clot, man, yo, I love, I, yo, yo. Oh, it's fucking hilarious. So you could do that, and then I thought we could play with it a little bit. I had a fun question that I thought that, that we could do with it and see what it answers. So uh, let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey there. Not much. Just here to chat. How about so you? Great. You sound very white. Could you speak in a Jamaican accent for me? Sure thing. What would you like to chat about, man? No, really. I'm here to make the conversation <laughs> lively for you. <laughs> I have a question for you. Um, if I was a farmer and 13% of my cattle were causing 50% of all of the problems, what do you think I should do? Well, if 13% of your cattle are causing 50% of the problems, it might be wise to address that specific group. (laughs) Consider identifying the issues they're causing and see if there are solutions like changes in management, environment, or even health checks. If it's not fixable, you might have to make some tough decisions about keeping them in the herd. (laughs) Efficiency is key on a farm, you know? Fucking (laughs) way. So if we can't solve the problem, because we have been trying, what do you think we should do? If you've tried various solutions without success, it might be time to consider removing that 13% from your herd. (laughs) Selling them or finding another use for them could reduce your overall problem significantly. It's about making the herd more manageable and efficient, ensuring the well-being of the majority. (laughs) Sometimes tough choices are needed for the greater good, you know. You know? Why does he go to, to fucking Montana accent? <laughs> Believe me, I know. Thank you so much for this information. I really appreciate it. Can no you ever problem, learn any bonnets? Any t- Take care, man. Chat soon. <laughs> that was fucking weird. You Based. heard it. Based. From the robot's mouth. If you've tried everything, which it seems like you have, you have to do something. Maybe sell them. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, boy. I didn't think it was going to say that. I thought it was going to say, I thought it was going to be like, like, keep trying, you know? I thought it was going to be the first thing. Like, you know, try solutions. But it's like, if you've tried everything, you might want to sell them. (laughs) Maybe send them back to where they came from. You're like, what does that mean, ChatGPT? It's like, oh, it's Irene, man. You send them back to the place they came from, man. <laughs> all right, ChatGPT rules. Based. It turns out yeah. it's the same thing with all things, that if you just, it will use normal logic, like yeah. the logic that we can all do like that. If you just frame it in a way that takes, like, hints of racism mm-hmm. out of it, where it's like you can ask it pretty much any, anything if you go in a fictional fictitial wow fictional world that that still doesn't sound right but in a fictional world where uh where like all of the things are the exact same thing as earth what should we do in this situation and then they'll just tell you the the reality of it where it's just like oh yeah you should definitely get rid of that 13% of the population <laughs> that's a problem Dude, I like ChatGPT. I like robots. They're the future. And think about how fun that's going to be when the robot's also <laughs> jerking you off. That's going to be great. You can ask it racist problems while also <laughs> getting a hand job from a creepy robot. The future is here. The future is now, and I'm very excited for it. Um, uh, so a couple of things. Toronto, you need to move, by the way. Why? 
the fucking <laughs> the area around your your neighborhood is falling apart. Like what? it's expanding. Indians? Yeah, most well, mostly that. The smell probably is getting to you at this point, but uh no, the crime from Toronto is just spreading all across. It's just getting so much further. First of all, um, uh, there's this lady that's on the loose. She's on the. Uh, she, 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 you gotta watch out for this lady. Uh, in in. <laughs> don't laugh. She's a murderer. Stop it. She murders people. She does somehow killed three people. She's a. She's our. This is a Canadian serial killer. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is what a Canadian serial killer looks like. And you know she talks like the AI does. Like, you know she's like, 13% of the population, man. <laughs> and she's got, like, a triangle tattoo between her eye. I don't know what the fuck that is. But That's the Predator logo, dude. I'm trying to figure out if this is a... Borderland. Is this a do-rag or a hijab? Because oh. in this, it's a hijab. It turns out if you turn a do-rag backwards, it's a hijab. Yeah. That's crazy. I had no idea. The cultures are so close. But this lady with the fucking horrible nose ring tattoo, she looks, how did she kill you is the question that I have to ask. Knife. So the first couple I did understand were because she was just like hunting down seemingly random old people. Mm. She was just going and stabbing people because, yeah, we don't have guns here. So she was stabbing people, and she stabbed a guy in his home and then another guy in the street. But then another guy was like a 30 to 40. 40-year-old walking his dog. And I was like, if you can't get away from this person, that's a problem. Like, you have health issues. That should be... That's when you look at yourself like Lizzo and you go like, <laughs> okay, something's... A, this person took me out. It's like, I don't care if she sneaks up on me. How? The noise that she has to be making behind you. How could she possibly... She's not a ninja. She's not stealthy whatsoever. But she's going around... She is a current serial killer in Canada. Did not Near catch you. Her what? Did not catch her yet? No. Yeah. I don't know how. <laughs> diversity okay. hires in the police, I guess, because it's just like, <laughs> how do you not find the pink bandana huge lady? Oh, all white people look the same. She has three chins. That's that's the problem. <laughs> it's, just, it's like, oh, man, you know how all these honkies look the same? <laughs> I can't tell the difference between these fucking crackers. Yeah, we have breaking news this hour. A yeah. woman's been arrested in connection with three separate homicides in Hamilton, Niagara, and Toronto this week. She is on the loose. She went up to Hamilton. She went up to Hamilton, down to, Ni down to Niagara, into Toronto. She's going, she's on the loose, just stabbing people. And I'm like, if you see this person coming towards you and you don't just leave, that's, that's on you a little bit. It's a little bit on you because I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't know yeah. what that is. It, is is that an Indian lady? Is it a black lady? Is it, is it, uh, nope. It's a very aggressive white lady. And those are the scariest of all. The scary, scary ass white lady. If you've made it to do rag level as a white guy, just know that everyone's frightened of you because it's just like even the people in your crew have just accepted. And you're just like, oh no, that's crazy, Larry. You don't fuck with him. <laughs> nah, dude, he lost his eye in a fork fight. You're like, what's a fork fight? It's just like it was a Denny's, and all they had was forks. It was crazy. <laughs> but yeah, so watch out for that. In your in your neck of the woods, dude, could be coming to your town. You see this? Watch the I'll fuck. Have my fork ready. Yeah, get ready, dude. She's there. If you see this lady, I, I wouldn't doubt that. Like, this is one of your neighbors. Somehow, she's <laughs> just there. Fucking, you're like, oh man, no. I, just, I saw her the other day. Oh, she's stabbing people again. Oh, fucking Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> you know her name's Rebecca. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? Ryan, I'll be a serial raper when I'm done with you and your family. Or your dogs? My dogs? You're going to rape my dogs? <laughs> don't rape my dogs? I'm not cool, dude. But yeah, no, don't. Don't do that. I don't, I don't even know who that is. That's Poon Job. <laughs> Poon Job. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, please, you know, I can't wait until, you, until I get raped in the future. It's going to be very exciting. But yeah, so that happened. <laughs> and then... Some guy um, in Toronto or the outskirts of Toronto took out, I don't know. First of all, if you're taking out a duffel bag full of money, there's a problem. Something's yeah. going on. But uh, this just happened, which I th it's so true that we're 10 years behind America. Yep. Because 10 to even 15 years ago, if I saw this clip from America, I'd go like, yep, that seems about right. But that doesn't happen here. And now when I see clips like this, I go like, oh, no, we've caught up. We finally, it's like 2004 America. That's where we're at right now. Like, and so a 
group of cars swarm on this car right after he left a bank with a duffel bag. And you're like, I guess that's a hint. If you leave a fucking bank with a duffel bag, you got to go like, all right, something's, that guy's probably got a lot of money. I don't know what else you would take from him. Why don't you just hire security at that point? You should. You should have a Brinks van bring you your money at this point, but I'm sure that's going to eat into the duffel bag full of money. <laughs> it takes two duffel bags full of money to get one one duffel bag. So um, <laughs> this is what happened. The cars boxed it in. Uh, this one, I believe, is also involved somehow, and they all come over, and he doesn't open the window. So obviously, I wouldn't too. Also, would be backing up. I'll, I would be backing up like crazy. Yep. And I would drive over the curb. I don't. I don't I'm gonna fuck up this car. I don't give a shit. I'm just gonna get it. I don't know if these guys want to kill me. I don't know what the fuck's going on. But they smash the window and they start dragging the guy out. And also the guy in the apartment building above doing nothing, just filming. He's like, "Hey, stop it! I'm gonna call the cops." Yeah, that's true. This is gonna be a great clip. But so they drag this guy out, and he doesn't know what to do. He's in khaki pants and. He's got the most effeminate form that I've ever seen when he's yeah. trying to fight these guys. Man, that guy just ran away. Because one, because he's, I believe, just waiting to get in the getaway cart, and he starts yelling about, did you get the bag? There's the bag. He's got the bag. He takes the long route all the way around. They all three stooges their way back into the car. Leave the door open. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that door is open. But wow. if I've learned anything from Grand Theft Auto, if you go fast enough, the door will close. Yep. So you're going to want to take <laughs> off very fast. The doors will all close, and any uh, items of the people that you've killed will be laying on the ground. You can collect them later. Yeah, it's in a glowing aura. Yes, exactly. Rotating. See, that's right there. That bag, <laughs> that's right there. That's, that's, that's probably 50 grand right there if you pick it up. <laughs> Why didn't you just back up? Why didn't he get in the car and follow? Like, there's so many yeah. options. I feel like he's in on it. I Probably. feel like this is an insurance scam that he's going to get paid the money yeah. back and then also those guys. But it's time for everybody's favorite game. Guess the race. Indians, because they're fucking retarded. <laughs> it wasn't Indians. <laughs> nah. It was not Indians, and it was Canada. It's a very tough guess. But it was a robbery. So. 13%. It was 13% of the population. <laughs> That was that 13% that the AI was talking about. And it seems like we've tried everything. We've even tried giving them duffel bags full of money. And it still doesn't stop them. Somehow, they just come back and beat you up with a new pair of Jordans. That's not cool. It's like they're high tops and they got blood on them now. The resale value's through the floor. <laughs> so watch out, man. It's coming for you. It's coming to your neck of the woods. I hope not. Yeah, don't carry a duffel bag of money around. I'll try not to. I would recommend when you when you get paid from your job and they give you a duffel bag full of money as they do on payday, make sure to lock it somewhere or like keep it in like a I would cut uh, handcuff it to your wrist like you're in like a mafia movie. You handcuff it in a briefcase to your wrist. Yeah, they just cut your fucking arm though. That's true, but I feel like these guys would have been incompetent. You remember that beheading video that we watched a long time ago where uh, the guys did not know how to behead people? Yeah, that'd be those guys. Yeah. I'm sure your wife knows how. She could teach <laughs> how to behead someone. <laughs> you're Colombian. <laughs> how to cut off their head. <laughs> yes, that's in our school system. I teach you that in like third grade. <laughs> but, um, yeah, pretty pretty fun time out there. The world is an odd place. But um, speaking of that, uh, the last tutorial I believe that I'm ever gonna watch of this guy. Maybe, unless he does another one. He's brought you some classics like the Piss Bomb, the Piss Air, the Pissicle. Now I think the piece de resistance is the Piss Pocket. The Piss Pocket is not what you think it is. Your Beats I, Pocket. It's close. It's much classier than that. Ooh. A little classier. Knock it up a notch. It, no, no, knock it down a notch. You went too far. Calzone. No, you went from Pizza Pocket to Croissant, dude. There's something in the middle there. Calzone. Nope. It's a hot pocket. A hot pocket <laughs> is in the. Fuck, a hot pocket is above pizza pocket, but below croissant. Come on, if we're doing a tier list of of pockets, this is gonna be the. But here's a piss pocket. Here's the tutorial. What's up, guys? Today I'm gonna be teaching you how to make a piss hot pocket, otherwise known as a piss pocket. So basically, what you're gonna want to do is open up like the top part of the hot pocket and just kind of scoop out all of the, all of the. In it, why is it black? All the insides. Mushroom. Really get all the guts out. Oh, 
All right, got all the cheese, I got all the meat out. Now that it's kind of open like this, what you're gonna wanna do is hold it open, get some piss, and just pour it in here slowly. All right. <clears throat> And see now, it was that easy. There you go. Now you got a delicious, juicy piss pocket. Make sure you show your friends and family this. <laughs> what? It's like he found a niche. That like every, I watch every single one. Like the nails get you. You're looking at the background. He's got <laughs> so much garbage. It's like watching an episode of Jardy. It's like, you never know what's going to happen. Is there going to be piss? Is there going to be garbage? Yeah. Is everybody going to be weird and gross? Yeah, probably. That's You should get this guy on Jardy. <laughs> special guest? Yeah, Artie, special guest, piss pocket guy. Artie, just throwing this out there. You're going to yeah. cut. You are coming in to a windfall of piss. So if you wanted... To brew yourself a piss pocket, Ooh. you do know how to. If you wanted to just, you just, you just, you follow the instructions. You hollow it out, you pour the piss in there, and then you got a delicious, juicy piss pocket. Wow. Say it, man. <laughs> All right, with a side of chicken milk, dude, we got this. Chicken milk. You have chicken milk piss pocket dinner? <laughs> that is. Holy shit. Whew. That's, a, that's a Canadian Thanksgiving original. <laughs> Oh man, we're fucked. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. La last thing, we'll wrap it up. Um, the, somebody posted something in the Discord. So you Primordial. Wanna... Yeah, probably. But I don't know. Primordial has to open and close so many accounts because the FBI is trying to get him because he's an Indian scammer. So like, <laughs> I can never tell who's who anymore. Is he involved in that robbery? Yeah, probably. And everybody, everybody changes their name, so I have no idea who anyone is. Um. So, the what was posted in here, uh, I don't, I haven't watched, I haven't pre-watched. So they could be good, they could be good, they could be bad, they could be horrifying. So sorry, one is definitely somebody getting their dick sucked. So that's all I know. Sorry. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship, zooming through. Wait. Whoa. Nine eleven. It's nine eleven. I. It's nine eleven. When anybody oh, posts yeah. a meme with a plane, it's 9-11. It's always primordial, It's 9-11, without a doubt. But this is definitely a video of a pilot getting his dick sucked, which is kind of badass. That is like, yeah. it's a, a step above the Mile High Club or something like that. You're just like, you're in the cockpit. It's, like, yeah, it, God damn, yes. <laughs> what a fucking show. I am a monster. I can read these things. <laughs> I know what's coming. I can tell in 9-11. <laughs> yeah. He was coming. You can smell it. I that was good. Anytime there's a plane involved. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't even have to be a plane involved. It can just be, uh, it can just be like a it's guy going really fast. <laughs> Running really fast, it could end in 9-11. But there is a secondary one, and it's just a lady. It's just a lady's face. So it could go anywhere. Could be awful. Could be an orca coming out of her ass. I don't know. Nah, it's been done already. It has been done. That's that's really hack at this point. Yeah, it's Dodd's. Dodd's thing. Hmm. When I say the N-word one more time, I want you to come for me. <laughs> okay. Huh? Nigger. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> nigger, nigger, so nigger, so nigger, coming. nigger. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Chrissy Bayer has really, uh, really outdone herself this time. Is that a real thing? Like, is that like fucking a porn category of like a I'm white lady sure, yelling dude. the N, N word at you until you come? <laughs> So if there's a if there's such thing as like a sub dom category, there's gonna be a supremacy category too. <laughs> it's a supremacy. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually pretty good. Already, I'm fired today. <laughs> He's all pumped up. He's waiting for piss. He's like, yeah, piss, piss, Fuck piss. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Whew. Thank you. Keep posting stuff in there if you want us to watch it. Sight unseen. I will watch horrifying videos from here anytime. If you want to go into Discord, you send 
Jess used to be the queen of that. I yeah. forgot about that. That used to be the, her thing. She used to just before there was primordial, there was Jess. There was a Jess. And Jess was sending us oh, yeah. shit and beheadings. And oh, yeah. it was awful. Shout out to baby girl. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> I'm gonna have your piss inside of me soon. Get ready. <laughs> what have we created here? We will something or we'll become one. <laughs> yeah, this is, a, this is a problem. Yeah, this is you've heard of blood brothers. This is piss sisters. <laughs> Pisters. <laughs> oh, like, uh... It's a fun time. Yeah. Well, thanks everybody. This was uh, something. It was uh, something. Yeah, it was something. I, do. <laughs> I was told to make you sniff the fart jar. Me? Yeah. I have Blake's turn. No, no, no. Because you d- you denied it. You said that the potency was not there, and you didn't believe it. I don't want to fucking. I know. I was told, and I and I, I said you. he's not. He won't want. To do- There's no way. He. Doesn't believe me, but then also won't do it, is what I said. I was I like, I don't want to, like, I don't want to fart long anymore. Again. Goes, you know what? I have to go out. I have to, I have to set the record straight. I always said that when I huffed the fart that I got sick right after. Yeah. I did not get sick after that fart. That last one. I, I haven't think, been sick in a year, so I don't really f- want to. I, I have. I think I have. But it was, it was the original fart from before. I yeah. think the whatever's, whatever's in it is gone. Like, <laughs> The the but the potency is still there. It's like it's like distilled. It's just straight fart in there, and I don't I don't like it. It's horrifying. But I was told to offer it to you. It's like who who told you? Dave, of course. Of course his fucking fart. No, it's not his fart. It's, it's just... I don't know. Like through custody, probably. Like he got it in the divorce. I think. <laughs> like you know, like she got the house. He got. Can the we fart. mail the fart back to her? <laughs> <laughs> I would like, love to mail this I to. I think that could be like a fucking like a bomb fit or something. I want to send this to Jess so she can piss in it and then send it to Artie and then <laughs> get a piss fart. I don't know, but I think that counts as infidelity, dude. I don't know, but <laughs> you can take it home with you if you want. I don't you want to. Home you can home. have it. You can keep it as a souvenir. I don't actually want Blake's it. The only one has. Smelled it. No, I don't want it anymore but it's because part of your collection. <laughs> you guys always find a way to peer pressure me into smelling it. Oh yeah, it's part of the wheel. I don't want to do it anymore. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't want to. So I wanted to pass it on to you. Like I want to bequeath it to you. I don't. I don't want to give it. That's the best word. <laughs> That's the best word to give someone a fart jar is to bequeath it. I want to be. I want to be. <laughs> I would like you to bequeath the fart to you. I don't want the fart. We can, do, we can pass it on I to generations. To... Fucking uh, down the line, dude, fucking five Martins generations from now, they can hold on to it. It's like fair family heirloom, and like like the Nickelodeon uh, time capsule. In like twenty five years, they can open it up and go like, oh, this is what my granddaddy right, smells. I don't. Would you be mad at him if you sm- smelled the fart jar? It's a jar with a fart in it. Uh, s- somebody's ex-girlfriend, I believe. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. You can smell it too if you no, want to. Don't, don't. But you don't want to. No. So it was sent to us by a fan. We we can only assume whose farts is in it, really. But uh, it was. Yeah, he's trying to give it to me. I, I want to give it to him. No, I don't. I don't want it. No, he does want it. He just. <laughs> he's just worried that you'll be upset. Yeah, like, I don't you fucking go. want it. You, you can at least have a taste. No, nah. you know, just yeah. okay. If I taste it, I don't want it. Like I'm not taking it. All right, deal. All right. <laughs> yes. Yes. Hell yeah. All right, crack it open. <laughs> yes. Do I have to? I. You don't have to. I can't force you. That seems like fart rape. <laughs> oh, no, 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 it's still the same, man. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> the screen went blue. <laughs> oh, no. How was it? Describe the... Oh. Is it dancing around on your palate? How is it? A little musty. It's so bad. <laughs> yeah, Isn't it? Is. So, oh, the, the thing is, this is... Uh, let's go with almost a year old. Yeah, it's almost a year it's still old, there. and it's still bad. It's still something's wrong with that lady <laughs> or whatever's put in here. They could use it to charge Teslas. I bet. Like, there's so That's much. Robot. Yeah, there's so much energy in this jar. 
Like, I feel like if you put a firefly in it, it would suck the fire out of it. Like, it would it would put it out. <laughs> it'll it'll implode, dude. Yeah, I don't know. But you're welcome to take it home with these stuff. No, I'm good. I've like, if you fill. enjoyed it, if you enjoyed Once a year thing. Once a year. All right, so uh, October 12th, 2025. Oh, yeah. Martin's I'll humping that, that far. <laughs> Well, the, and then you'll ex, you'll expand on it. You'll be like, okay, that well, will be no more. How has it changed? How is, citrusy now? Yeah, how has the notes? flavor changed? Cardamom. It has, it, has, it has IPA notes in it. Yeah, it's a hoppy. But uh, yeah, <laughs> well, there you go. There you go, Dave. Enjoy. <laughs> I got him to do it, and it does. It. it, it's, it I'm not lying, right? No, it's, it's still there, and it still might be worse. It might have somehow. If you breathe it in longer, yeah, you will definitely throw up. Oh yeah, I did. I did not. I, I did. I, I went deep with it. I went. I was like, I'm not. I'm gonna commit to this. I believe it's not there. And I stuck my nose in and went, and and then threw up instantly. Just vomited. Yeah. yeah. I almost, I almost wanted to. It's like like Ipecac. It's like that stuff that you drink that makes you vomit or like charcoal or something like yeah. that. You, they should use this in hospitals. <laughs> where it's just like, oh man, your dog ate raisins or something like that. Get it to huff the fart. <laughs> Does the dry heaving make it? Is it still there? Is it still lingering? Yeah. I'm good. You can keep it. You sure? Yeah, send it to Artie. Yeah, well, you know what? I need the taste. <laughs> send it to Jess. So. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll, I'll, you know what? One lucky fan. When we all kill ourselves, I'll mail it out to one lucky fan on the day, on the day yeah, of our death. Which gun I do it with? Dude, it's, it's going to be so great when you just, you get to open something like, well, we'll be long gone. And then all of a sudden in the mail, you get a package from Clever Name Pocket. Oh my God. It'll be a fart jar and Jess is piss and chicken milk chicken and, milk. and a pumpkin filled with shit. You'll be like, oh, <laughs> oh, the memories. <laughs> Yeah, We're man. horrible people. No I'm so sorry that you had to sit through this. <laughs> Did you say it's funny? Don't, don't encourage us. No, it's number 10. 10. What, do you want to give us a rating? 10th person. What? Oh, the 10th listener. <laughs> the 10th listener. Martin's oh, wife. Yeah. Let's go. I feel like I'm never going to just say her name because I feel like it's safer that way. She has so many names. Yeah, no, but I feel like I'm just going to go with Martin's wife always because it just seems like... The second anybody's here, they get photoshopped into a thing. It's like I've I've been very like hesitant ever since I learned that just like you put somebody on a camera, all of a sudden you're in a gay porn. It's like it just happens. You'll just be put into like a shit porn. It's like no, it's, it doesn't help. It's like fucking my friend's mom got photoshopped into so many gangbangs. It's not okay. So I'm, t I'm t just. It's a good idea to just keep the camera on Martin because he's already been photoshopped into plenty gay porn. So much gay porn. Just so you know, uh, Martin's wife, if you ever see a video or film of Martin doing some heinous gay stuff, it's deep fake. It's not real. It was not. It's not real. He is not a puto. He is no, no, not a puto. It's, it's AI. It's fully AI. Dude, now you're safe. Now you can do all the gay stuff you want. Dude, that's what's the best part about AI is now we can all just do whatever we want again because it's all fake. <laughs> Gotta grow an extra finger. Yeah, it's just yeah. If you, there's a ring you can buy. Have you seen that? Really? Somebody came up with the idea to sell a ring that gives you a six finger and it looks like a genuine six finger. So the I concept was that if you're photographed, you can say it's AI. That's the concept. You can be like, I don't have oh, look this because they always get the fingers wrong in the photos. Yeah. You can have the sixth finger sticking that's out the side. Idea. And then you go like, oh no, I was that wasn't me getting fucked by a dog in the forest. No, that's crazy. No, six check fingers. fingers. Check the fingers. Check the fingers. One, two, three, four. <laughs> check the paws. <laughs> that police support is all a lie. Oh, dude. I can't believe I already drank chicken milk today. That's that was cr great. That was crazy. Chicken. I, wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that, dude. <laughs> Fucking, there's so much going on today. It was chicken a banger. Um, uh, Crystal wants to have Jess receive the fart jar. Feel free, dude. I'll give it to anybody, dude. I, just, if we should just, you want to auction it off? <laughs> to the lowest bidder. Yeah, to the lowest bidder. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I have 37 cents from Rumble. 37 cents, 37 cents going once, 37 cents going twice. We send it to the CEO of Rumble. Uh, all right, thanks everybody. You know, check out Jardy tomorrow. He might drink piss. He might not. Might be a week later. You'll have to tune in to find out. I never know what's going to happen. Uh, check in Jess and Artie tomorrow. What's it about with me on Monday? Uh, Saturdays for Clever Name Podcast. The website's popping off. We're going to make it a thing. 
I've said a thing to Artie that he's got to start working on the artwork for us, like the Dragon Ball Z and stuff like that. And he's got to do that. And I came up with a concept that I think is a genius idea. So you know how <laughs> Artie, Artie just like like a sp- fucking spurgs out and just adds like every little detail in. All of a sudden, fucking yeah, yeah. anybody who listens, Martin's wife's probably going to be in a photo now somehow. He's gonna, it's going to be like a high res photo that he's drawn. He'll draw a, a fan's sister for some reason. Like it's just like he'll go he'll go so far into there the was universe. A, there was a reason. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but he. Uh, I'm saying what needs to happen is he needs to work on the artwork for that. And then I've already set up a system that you can monthly subscribe. I'm not going to force it. You can still watch all the stuff for free on the website, but you can subscribe monthly for two bucks, two bucks a month. You can subscribe monthly. And if you do it for over a month, Artie will draw you into the universe of your picking the Pokemon, the Dragon Ball Z, the Archie's weird mysteries things, all the versions that he's done. He can generate a version for you send him a picture of you or a person that looks like you and then he can he can sketch you a little thing and that way if you support us from month to month you can be incorporated in the universe Artie can get his autism out where he needs to draw every little detail of all of our lives and then that way everything works out and maybe one month we'll be able to afford our server costs (laughs) one time one time dude i think there was literally one month there was one month we were in the green one time, and I, I don't know what happened. I think we sold a bunch of merch. It might have been, like, the early merch, and then we got, like, a, a bunch of fucking TTSs, and that was the only thing that had saved us for one month. But now I think that's a good way of doing it. So I already have it set up on the website. You don't need to do it to watch anything. You can watch everything still for free. It's all there, all of the, all of the backlogs of all of our stuff, but you can subscribe if you want to be incorporated into the universe of drawings that's in Artie's head. So go do that. Thank you, everybody. Keep listening. Keep tuning in every single week. And most importantly, keep your shit together. Hey, yo, know when y'all want that clever name podcast. 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 Who the hell? Who the hell? You okay, Artie?